you've had a fun day today. Well, tomorrow it is Good Friday, which means it's nearly the Easter weekend when normally we think about the Easter bunny. So I thought that we'd have a story all about a bunny. And this is a bunny, also known as a rabbit, that you've met before, and her name is Blossom. And we'll see if she stays here for the story. There we are, good Blossom. <clears throat> I think she's eyeing up the beautiful flowers that arrived today. So, turning on your wiggling ears, wiggling ears, listening ears. Wiggle, 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 ping. Turning on your thinking brains. <coughs> My knee's oiling. <coughs> oh. Seat belts on. So you can be safe. Check your flaps. Bing bong, bing bong, bing bong. Check your fuel. Glug, 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 glug. Check your boosters. Vroom! Chucks away! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! There. Now. I've got Annabelle doing gymnastics behind me at the moment, which is incredibly distracting children. So I'm just going to ask Annabelle if she wouldn't mind stopping that. Thank you, Annabelle. So children, here's one of Sue's favourite stories. And this is called, That Rabbit Belongs to Emily Brown. You look like this rabbit belongs to me. Here we go. Let's see if I can remember it. Once upon a time, there was a little girl called Emily Brown and an old grey rabbit called Stanley. One day, Emily Brown and Stanley were just launching themselves into out space to look for alien life forms when there was a Right a tat tat at the kitchen door. Look, here they are, all dressed up. It was the chief footman to the Queen. He said, The Queen has very kindly noticed your rabbit. She would like to have that bunny wunny. And in return, she offers this brand new golden teddy bear. Mm -hmm. Emily Brown looked at the Queen's teddy bear. It was stiff and new and gold. And quite frankly, it was horrible. It had staring eyes. And no smile at all. No, thank you, said Emily Brown. This rabbit is not for sale. And his name isn't Bunny Wunny. It's Stanley. And Emily Brown shut the door politely. An hour or so later, Emily Brown and Stanley were riding through the Sahara Desert on their motorbike when there was a rat-a-tat-tat at the garden door. It was the army. The captain saluted and said, Her Most Royal Highness Queen Gloriana III greets Miss Emily Brown and she would still like to have that bunny wunny. In return, she offers her the brand new golden teddy bear and ten talking dolls that say, Mama! Mama! Do you think she's going to want them? Should we find out? Emily Brown said, I did want ten talking dolls, 
I want my rabbit. And his name isn't Bunny Wunny. It's Stanley. And Emily Brown sent that army away. Less politely this time. A few days later, Emily Brown and Stanley were deep sea diving off the barrier reef when there was a rat-a-tat-tat -tat at the garden door. It was the Navy. The Admiral saluted. Her most royal Gloria, royalness glorious, Queen Gloriana the Third greets Miss Emily Brown and she would like to, to hand over that rabbit at your earliest convenience. She points out that she is the poshest person on the planet and Bunny Wunny will be much better off with her. In return, she offers you the brand new golden teddy bear. Ten talking dolls that say Mama, Mama, and 50 rocking horses that will rock forever. I don't care who she is, said Emily Brown. This rabbit belongs to me and his name isn't Buddy Wuddy, it's Stanley. And she sent that navy away. I think she's getting a little bit cheesed off. A few weeks later, Emily Brown and Stanley were just climbing through the Amazonian rainforest when there was a rat-a-tat-tat -tat at the garden door. You right there? It was the Air Force. The Wing Commander saluted and said, Her Excellency! The most mighty Queen Gloriana the Third greets Miss Emily Brown and says she must have the bunny ready right now or she will not answer for the consequences. In return, we will give her a brand new golden teddy bear, ten talking dolls that say Mama, Mama, and fifty rocking horses that drop forever, and all the toys she could ever desire. I know, Blossom, what are we going to do? Do you think Emily Brown's going to accept that offer? Now, Emily Brown was fed up. She sent that Air Force away and she pinned a big notice on the garden gate that said, this rabbit is not for sale and his name is not Bunny Wunny, it's Stanley. A few months later, Emily Brown and Stanley were lying fast asleep in bed and they were dreaming of all the adventures they were going to have the next day when there was absolutely no noise at all at the door, at the gate or the window. Me. In crept the special commandos. <gasps> and they stole the rabbit that belonged to Emily Brown. And when Emily Brown woke up the next morning for the first time in her life, there was no Stanley. Do you think she's going to be happy? Do you think she's going to be sad? I think she's going to be very, very sad. Emily Brown was so cross. Give me your crossest face. That's it, make your eyebrows go together. She was so cross, she knew just what had happened. She marched up to the palace on the hill and she knocked on that naughty queen's door. rat a tat tat Emily Brown ran into the palace and there, there was that naughty queen. And she was crying like anything.
there was indeed something wrong with Stanley. The silly naughty queen had put him in the royal washing machine all night and he had come out an odd pink colour. <gasps> and not only that, the royal dressmakers had stuffed him full of lots and lots of stuffing so he wasn't flippy floppy anymore. He was all stiff. And not only that, they'd sewn up his mouth. So he wasn't smiling anymore. He was miserable. Oh dear, he doesn't look very good. He's absolutely miserable. Poor Stanley. Oh, Emily Brown! Emily Brown! Is there anything you can do? said the silly naughty queen. There certainly is, said Emily Brown. I shall take Stanley home. So she went to the royal toy cupboard and she took down that brand new golden teddy bear and she placed it on the Queen's lap. And Emily Brown, she whispered so that no one else could hear and she said, you take that horrid brand new teddy bear and you play with him all day. You sleep with him at night and you hold him very tight and make sure you have lots and lots of adventures. And then maybe, just maybe one day you will wake up and you will have a real toy all of your own. And Emily and Brown and Stanley went home. Goodbye, Miss Brown. That was the last Emily Brown and Stanley heard from that silly naughty queen for quite some time. Look here they are. But one day, a couple of years later, just as Emily Brown and Stanley were exploring the outermost regions of the Milky Way, there was a rat-a-tat-tat on the kitchen door and it was the postman with a letter for Emily Brown and it just said thank you and if you look really closely you can see that the Queen is holding a teddy bear and that the golden teddy bear has a nice big smile. I think she's got her very own special toy now isn't that great news? I hope that you've got a special cuddly toy that you can take to bed and have lots of adventures with. Maybe you've been pretending to go to the outermost regions of the Milky Way or travelling through the Sahara Desert. Whatever you've been up to, I hope you've had lots of great fun. But now children, it's time to say goodbye. So we're going to go tick tock, tick when the big hand reaches number 12 and the little hand reaches number 3 it means it's 3 o'clock which means it's time to go home and Blossom and me we say goodbye